Hello everyone, we are here getting ready to enter Mount Moon. Last episode we got our first gym badge, took out all the trainers leading up to Mount Moon, and had our first evolution. Our Nidoran evolved into uh, Nidorino. And here, fairly certain in this episode, I wouldn't see why not, uh, we will catch our third Pokemon, technically second of our main party. Um, it's not Geodude. <laughs> um, I know there's an item over here, possibly a trainer too. There's another item up here. I don't know if a lot of uh, rock type based trainers in this area. Now, if they're just bug types, then I'll be fine to for Meowth. As you can see, Meowth is still doing his own thing. But, he's getting the job done, I, I guess. Cannot complain. There we go. Kakuna, please do not know tackle. We'll make this match a whole lot easier. Not that it would be hard to begin with, but if you keep using Harden. Well, never mind. Thank you. This should be another trainer, yep. yep. Now that I'm thinking about it. For our second gym battle, we're kind of already at an ideal level with both Pokemon that we currently have to face Misty. I think our highest level Pokemon is a 20, 20, if not 22, maybe around there. I think we would do all right, and plus we have many other trainers to fight in the future, so. I, after this battle, I'm going to search for, oh my god. Meowth has to fall asleep now, too. <laughs> After this match, I'm going to roam around in search of our third Pokemon. What will be our third Pokemon? Second Pokemon of our main party. At least Meowth woke up right away. And... was Meh. Why? Wake up. Please, just wake up. You're gonna faint, and I'm gonna have to go out to the Pokemon Center. Just waste more time. I know this isn't your fault this time, like it has with every other match that I've used you in, but still. I think that's it. Yep. Oh well. Nidorino can save the day. Nidorino, once we catch our third Pokemon, will basically be a uh, worst case scenario backup to ensure our victories of matches. Like I said, I need to go out to the Pokemon Center and we'll cut back in here to begin searching for our third Pokemon right after this, so we'll be back soon.
All right, so here we are, back, ready to start searching. I'm not gonna face any trainers until I catch what will be our third Pokemon, and here it is. I'm going to have a Zubat. At level eight is not a bad level. Um, I don't know, Meowth probably isn't a very, uh, Good choice, because he could just use Bite knock this and this is bad. I don't want to hit. Hopefully I don't have to go back to get Rattata to... Rattata to catch a Zubat. Hopefully we can just do this one. Please do not knock it out. Tackle shouldn't. Oh, yes. Perfect, Nidoran. This is... Nidoran, I'm sorry. This is... Oh, you're my favorite. I'm sad to say that you will not be a part of our main party, but if you keep performing this well, you might be, and I don't know why I'm talking to a CPU again, but... Alright, so we have Zubat, and we're gonna be using him, I think, a lot. We're exchanging him a lot. Um, boost his levels up. We want to have him on par with uh, Meowth and Nidorino. Need to get him to the Pokemon Center. So I, sorry you had to cut to a Pokemon Center, but we will be back shortly once we get Zubat all healed. All right, so we're back with our Zubat all healed to finally start leveling up. And nobody likes you, Sandshrew. Go away. I don't know if there's an item or a trainer over here. It's not really an area that no one bothers really to look at during Mount Moon. If you already know the pathway, you have to go. Oh my god. Why can't you? Oh, hey, thank you. A trainer. Here we go. First battle with a Zubat. Hopefully it's nothing, uh... Magnemite, of course. This is gonna be... I'm gonna tag this playthrough as my lucky playthrough. As you can tell, I'm just the luckiest person ever right now. Throughout this entire uh, playthrough, I'm just keep getting lucky and lucky and luckier. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm gonna switch. Zubat is once he evolves into a Golbat, he is very usable, but. Until then, he's kind of like a, an Abra or a Magikarp where you have to switch him out in order for him to level up because he cannot do, do his own damage. Don't worry, you're not staying out to fight a Voltorb. I'm not that stupid. Double kick that ball. Yep. Oh, there we go. Forgot it was a double attack. Yay! Level 9 Zubat. Oh, we have an item. Potion, we'll definitely use that. We have our another item. Rare candy. That will not be used um, right away, but hopefully. I'm trying to think of a time that that will be uh, 
need it in the future. Maybe if things get uh, desperate, but I can't think of any uh, opportunity needed uh, for rare candy coming up soon. Uh, probably should have taken on that trainer. I have to walk all the way down and all the way back up after I beat him. As part of the Team Rocket challenge, you have to take on every trainer in the area that you are in. Zubat might be able to take on this Caterpie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Wow, well, it's gonna take too long probably, but. It will give him significantly more XP than if I switch him with Needle Reno. Unless uh, Caterpie does not let up. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just safe to switch him out. We'll, we'll do that. Don't know what I was thinking. I'm too optimistic. Double kick that Caterpie. Yeah. One attack then. There we go. I'm just gonna... Oh, I should have switched it. Oh, well. I'll give him a potion first in case this Metapod knows Tackle. Zoo bad. Go Zubat! Switch Nidorino. If this Metapod doesn't know tackle, it still take way too long for Zubat to take him on single-handedly, so I'm saving the time. Come on. There we go. That's what I like to see, Nero Reno. You just keep impressing me and impressing me. You might make it to our final team. No Zubat experience, but whatever. Here we go. Now we can continue on, or at least after this, to our journey through Mount Moon. Why? 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 Zubat, you just need to get to a higher level as soon as possible. If you get to higher than level 10, we will not have to run into Can't Escape anymore. Like that. And now you're confused. Gotta take on her now. Don't remember what Pokemon she has. An Oddish. Zubat might be able to take on Oddish. Let's try. There we go. Zubat, I'm liking you now. If 
you should be able to get to level 10 by the end of this match. And if not, I don't know what to tell you. So far, you're doing great. If only Leash Life had higher PP. And if it wasn't your only move too, when are you going to learn another move, Zubat? That's okay, I already know. There you go. Still not a uh, direct attack move, but oh well. Should be able to take Zubat too. And I think after this match we're going to call it an episode. We're running short on time. But actually, that will obviously not make it through uh, Mount Moon this episode, and we'll continue our match. And next episode, hopefully, you will figure out why Yellow Version is the ideal version to have a Team Rocket challenge. And if you don't already know, well, like most people should already know by now, but if you don't already know, you will find out. And if you don't find out, I don't know what to tell you. So yes, I'm going to call it an episode and see you all next time.